let we have the content of unit number four. Friends, in unit four, we have three main points, namely data preparation, hypothesis testing, and report preparation. In detail, then in point number one, we are going to see the data preparation process. How to prepare the data for the purpose of analysis. So data preparation is that we are going to follow the various steps like editing, coding, transcribing and data cleaning. So what are the steps? What are the steps? What are the steps? What are the steps? So points we will data preparation process. Ke andar discuss karenge. Then in point number two, we are going to start up with the first understanding what is hypothesis, the meaning of hypothesis. Then important one, hypothesis testing process. So there are seven to eight steps which we need to follow for the purpose of conducting the hypothesis. So first, we theoretically understand what is hypothesis testing process. Kya hai. And then after we will take a one sum. Then one sum se hum समझेंगे कि भी practically hypothesis testing कैसे होता है, but syllabus perspective से only theory process जो है, वही हमारा syllabus के अंदर है, but जो examples है, वो आपके understandings के लिए हम discuss करेंगे कि भी hypothesis testing process क्या है, कौन-कौन से steps हम उसके अंदर follow करेंगे, और even सम लेके हम देखेंगे कि भी real life में hypothesis testing कैसे होता है, आपने statistics में कैसे calculate किया होगा then next is a one concept terminology that is cross tabulations. So cross tabulations kya hota hai? Uske andar hum kaise variables ko analyze karte hai? To wo uska simply meaning hai. So cross tabulations ka meaning kya hai? Wo cheez hum discuss karenge. The third point is about report preparation. Ki be ek baar aapka marketing research process ka one step aapka khatam ho gaya. Then the last step will be your report preparations. So, when you prepare the report, you will have to see which chapters in the report. What will be the sequence of chapters? What will be the flow of the report? And when you have to keep the time of writing, what will you have to keep the time of writing? What will you have to keep the time of presentation? So, these are all the points we will discuss in point number 3. 